Okay, so Rocket Rolls. I'm over here at Old Glory Harley Davidson. Um. Okay, here's the deal, y'all. Actually, I just finished test riding and almost purchased a live wire, but um, opted out. I. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm going to chop this video up. I mean, this may be the intro. But, um... The ride was great. Um... Old Glory did a wonderful job of the sales. They put some numbers in front of me that were doable. They, they, they gave me all kinds of... Enticements and all of that good jazz. It just doesn't appear to be the right time for the purchase and I can't get around that fact um I'm a little sad but I'm trying to see Okay. Um, just trying to see the ways to see where it, way it was sending me. Um, yeah. So I rode the live wire. I got. Uh, hopefully, I got the good video for it, and you know you'll see that in the other section of I guess this one video. But um, eh, the finance. I'm not going to tell. I'm not even going to tell y'all what the numbers were. Um, I don't, not that I care from my perspective, but I'm not going to do that to the dealership. Um, I feel like every one of their sales is an independent exercise and they should be able to, you know, you guys should be able to negotiate your own damn prices. And I'm quite honestly, if I told you, I honestly feel like you probably could get a better price than what I got. Um, having said all of that. <laughs> oh, rocket rolls. Here we go, folks. Test ride in the live wire. Um, yeah, I love this bike. I, I had the, the thing about it. I've rode it before. I didn't get any video when I rode before. I did want to um, feel the ergonomics again. It's kind of got like this lean forward, which you know I don't have on the CB500, and I wanted to feel that again. But of course, you know, well, I'm going to say all the little stuff that everybody says in their live wire videos that I kind of get tired of hearing, but there's no clutch. Um, it is a Harley, so the turn signals are on the left and the right. Um, there's no gears to shift. It's just, you know, all electric. It's all torque. Um, you know, you guys may recognize this is a very familiar road for me. This is my local Harley dealer there around, you know, and this ride that we're going to take, it's going to be about 10 miles. Everybody wants to know about the range. It was like at freaking 93% when I started. This is an 11 mile ride. So we're going to see. You know what the drop off is for the 11 miles. It is a little wet out here, so I know the guy is nervous about me riding on the wet road with him because he, he doesn't know me. Y'all know I ride in the rain all the time. No big deal. Um, the 
the bike does have traction control looks like i'm in rain mode i'm not sure or if that's the weather i have to go back and look and see what was going on with that okay it feels great he can't open it up <laughs> that's hilarious he's stuck behind the truck i'm cool with it i'm good i'm okay with being stuck behind the truck It's like you, uh, you know, you sport bike guys are probably used to this, especially the leader bikes or whatever. But, you know, I ride a 471 cc. It's not all of that, but you know, you just kind of twist the wrist, and you better be holding on to the bike because it's going to go forward. see he's he's weaving the um the dash dashes there just to kind of demonstrate some of the flexibility i'm not crazy about the mirror he slowed down a bit so he could open it up oh yeah it has the been broke Bembro brakes, they feel great. Um, I think the region is kind of low for this setting, I'm not sure. I like the bike. You know, everybody's complaining, oh, it's a $30,000 bike, I'm pretty sure I can get them off the 30. Um, they've only got three left. They've got these two black ones, and they've got the burnt orange one. slowing down I think it's gonna because he's this turn is coming up oh um, yeah this is incredible this is good You know, what else I need to, you know, I don't feel like telling y'all no numbers. Yeah, you can do the DC charging on this. You can do level one. It'll fit the level two charger adapter to, uh, what is it, J1772 or whatever. However, it's only going to charge at level one speed when you use that charger. So you can do um, the slow charging, or the equivalent of plugging it into the wall, or you can do the DC charging, which is a rapid charge, and I think it does a full charge in an hour. But um, I would never actually try to full charge you know full charge i would be chart you know topping it off from time to time and i'd be topping it off you know running it from 20 to 80 for the most part 25 to 75 or something like that and so charges on a dc charger when you're only doing you know about 50 percent uh you're looking like you know 30 minutes not even 30 minutes like 20 minutes it's like a 20 minute charge which is cool if you ever are out and you just need like i need another 20 miles or something like that you know you can do it in little 10 minute charge increments you guys know how i ride i stop a lot so it's not a big deal to me at all yeah We're gonna leave. Oh uh, yeah, he is such a um, a biker's biker. Dude must ride in the club. His name's Corey. Anybody ever goes to Old Glory, Harley Davidson? That's Corey, if you guys know. Him. Oh, my hands are cold. I, I shouldn't have switched gloves. I switched over to the leathers. I 
like the way it handles. But you know what I don't know? I don't know how much of me liking the way it handles is, be is the live wire itself versus just riding a street fighter. Ride is almost done. We've dropped like seven percent on the rank on the charge and gone about 13 miles. That's not bad, actually. No, we've gone about seven miles, seven percent. intentionally hit that. I wanted to feel it. It felt all right. Oh yeah, it does auto cancel on the um, turns. This is not a winter bike. Mm, I'm leaning DSR. I'm leaning DSR. I like the upright position in the DSR. I like the higher seat.
but this feels great. I don't think I could get a bike that wasn't electric at this point. So in the rain mode, it doesn't give you as much power mm -hmm. as quickly. And it also doesn't give as much as going to break if you just kind of coast. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's to prevent any, uh, that's to prevent any uh, uh, skidding. And, mm -hmm. and Really? So it's, it's smoother. Cool. It feels smoother. It is smooth. We were talking about the rain mode and how there's less regenerative braking. And um, he wanted to open it up. Less regenerative braking, less torque. It doesn't launch you as much as it does when you're riding in sport mode or some of the other modes. I think I was in econo mode, whatever they call it, range mode the last time. And um, back into the parking lot yeah but the rain mode is like really smooth it's not herky-jerky like the other electric bikes can get or this one can get in the other modes so stop what the heck did none of that get recorded you gotta be kidding i didn't record any of that ain't this some crap i'm not going back around the block yet let me play with this first <laughs> 